Welcome to another episode of Cyber Secrets. The Wi-Fi Pineapple is actually a really good deal. It's less than $100 and it has a lot of capability. The thing that I like the most about it is the capability of doing pre-programmed dip switches. So if you have the battery, you just plug it in, you put the dip switches there, wait a few minutes, turns on, then it starts doing whatever attack you wanted. Now let's take a look at my Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark V. I've added a little bit more than it basically comes with by default from the Pineapple Bar. The Pineapple Bar is kind of like its own app store. For example, there's SSL strip, there's TCP dump, there's uh, the random roll, which I do have running right now. I'll show you here in just a minute. And there's also a site survey. What I like about the site survey, you just have to give it time. All the uh, access points that it's seen within range with the antennas that it came by default, you can see right here. With that said, I'll go ahead and close out of here. There's also Reaver Pro. The difference between the Reaver Pro one here and the Reaver Pro 2 that we showed before comes down to this is a lot more manual configured. The other one is simple stupid. You just It's automatically running. This one you actually have to work through. With that said, I do have it's called the random roll running in the background. So right now what I'm going to do is go directly to the website. <laughs> I'm going to close out of here. As you can see with that website, if I was to do a man in the middle attack with this Wi Fi pineapple, then anybody going to pretty much any website or with specific ones that I was trying to redirect them from could get rickrolled or have uh, half a dozen other types. For example, let's go to the random roll. It has the rickroll, it has the good old uh, cat, and the good old banana. So with that said, there's a lot of things that the Wi-Fi Pineapple can do just right out of the box. Now I'd like to talk about the Raspberry Pi. This is a relatively cheap board and is built off the ARM architecture. There's a lot of things you could add to it and it's a completely customized area. There's a lot of groups that can help you specifically design which you want to get out of it. One of the distributions that I like the most is Kali Linux. Kali Linux is based off Debian. The benefit of this one is, is it has a lot of attack tools, forensics tools, security tools, and other utilities that can definitely help you in investigations and security testing. So you're going to go to Downloads and then into the Custom Images area, and when you scroll down you can see there's a lot of different variations of that same distribution. What we're going to focus on is the Kali Linux 1.0.6a Raspberry Pi image. Basically at this point what you would do is download that file and then copy it to an SD card. You can do that through DD, uh, through Linux, or through other useful utilities. Once it's on the SD card, you're good to go. The biggest benefit about Kali is it has pretty much everything you need for an assessment or wireless attacks, uh, things in that aspect, right out of the box. So once you download it, put it onto an SD card, it works great with Raspberry. The problem comes down with the Raspberry in general is it's just a piece of hardware. You have to add everything yourself. Now that we've covered all those tools, what I did want to mention is that there's a lot of things that you can use out there. Some help for automation, such as the Reaver. Some help for complete power, such as the Raspberry all the way through uh, Kali. With that said, whatever tool you use, happy hunting. The Cyber Secrets web series covers computer forensics, hacking, and everything in between. Thank you for your continued support of Cyber Secrets. With the reboot of the different series, we want to ask if you have ideas for future content or suggestions for improvement. Please let us know. Click subscribe for new episodes of Cyber Secrets.